Please bow and let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we just thank you, Lord, for giving us this, another great day, another day to serve you, Father. Father, we're so grateful for the bounty that you bestow upon us. We're so grateful to have the opportunity to come together tonight, share our thoughts and our ideas, celebrate the partnerships that's been formed here, Lord. Father, we recognize that all good and great things come through you, and we are so appreciative for these entrepreneurs that come together and make things happen in a wonderful way. And we just praise you for allowing that to happen. Now, Father, as we enjoy this food that has been prepared, we ask that you bless it, bless the hands that's prepared it, and may it nourish our bodies and keep us in your service. And this we pray in your name. Amen. salads and pasta will be served individually to each table and we'll begin bringing up each table individually. <laughs> <laughs> and especially your brand performance consulting team. My name is Patrick Lewis, and I'm a BPC for the HDG Group. And I've had the pleasure of working with four of the five HDG Choice properties since I joined the company in 2008. Sorry, Titusville, but I think you're taking good care of over there. I knew from the first couple of meetings that I had at the sleep ins in Ocala and Wildwood, with both Donna and Debbie, that this was going to be a team of people and a group of hotels that would be an absolute joy to work with. They would exceed expectations and they would challenge me 
and themselves at the same time. I'm joined today by two fellow BPCs, David Anderson and Bob Bradley, who cover the other three Choice properties, in addition to other, uh, several others from Choice Hotels, including Ralph Tiergart, the Vice President of Franchise Services, Stan Adams from Choice Revenue Management, and Sean Winders from Franchise Sales. We're here to celebrate the successes of HDG Hotels and to work together for continued success in the future. The meeting you're attending started from a conversation that I had with Azeem a couple of months ago, right here in this hotel. It was after a long day of working, and we had a lovely dinner at the Outback. We split a bottle of wine, or two, and finished up at the gazebo by the pool. And I said to Azeem, what do you think about getting all of your hotels together for a portfolio meeting? And in typical HDG fashion, here we are at the first HDG Partners Summit. They take an idea, no matter how big or how small, and they run with it. They make it the best that they can be, not only for their company, but for the individual team members at each of their hotels as well. So on behalf of everybody at Choice, thank you for being our partners. Thank you to all of those in the office and all of those at the hotels who we work with sometimes on a daily basis. Continue to grow, continue to learn, and continue to exceed our expert expectations. Thank you very much. I now have the honor of introducing our keynote speaker tonight, your president and CEO, Mr. Navro Saji. Navros. Navros is the president and CEO of North Central Florida's most dynamic, innovative, and successful hotel development and management company. HDG is the largest hotel development and management company in Marion County, managing nine hotels over six North Central Florida counties. HDG manages three hotels here in, uh, nearby in Marion County. The Marion County Chamber of Commerce awarded HDG Minority Business of the Year in 2001 and Business of the Year in 2012. Navros is an active participant in local organizations such as Marion County Visitors and Convention Bureau, where he currently serves as a board member, Marion County Chamber of Commerce Economic Partnership, and in various capacities on franchise or franchisee advisory committees. Navros is a passionate student of the hospitality industry. He received his undergraduate degree with high honors in accounting from the University of Florida and received his law degree from Georgetown University Law Center in Washington, DC. Navros is a current member of the Florida Bar. Ladies and gentlemen, your president and CEO, Navros Saji. Patrick, thank you. Good evening. On behalf of our very special HDG team, on behalf of my parents, Nujahan and Fidali, on behalf of my brother and partner, Azim, on behalf of our families, Naz, Shada, Serena, Naz, Champ, welcome to the first annual HDG Partner Summit. Indeed, each one of you are HDG partners and stakeholders, and Azim and I are very, very appreciative of that and for your attendance this evening. This evening is a very special 
evening for our company because it marks a sort of debutante coming out event for our company, HDG, North Central Florida's most dynamic, most innovative, and most successful hotel company. This evening would not have been possible without the support of each one of you here in the audience. Each one of you here in the audience have played a part in the development and in the success of HDG Hotels, for which Azim and I are very, very appreciative. In particular, I'd like to recognize State Representative Stone, our Marion County, our Marion County Commission Chairwoman Kathy Bryant, all our Marion County Commissioners Carl Zalek, Stan McLean, Earl Arnett, David Moore. From the Marion County Visitors and Convention Bureau, Loretta Schaefer, our Director, Sky Wheeler. From the Marion County CEP, Kevin Sheely, its CEO. From Citrus County, our County Commissioner, Rebecca Bays. Thank you all for coming. In regards to our franchisor partners, I'd like to recognize our I people from IHG, from Choice Hotels International and their owners association led by Cassandra Hill, from Wyndham. Many of these franchisor partners have traveled a far distance to be with us tonight. Specifically, this event would not have been possible without our sponsors for this event, which I really, really want to recognize. Ecolab and Donald Downs. <laughs> Paychecks and Zachary Cox. <laughs> Hospitality Depot and John Wisham. Thank you, John. <laughs> Cure Evolutions and Pete Kelly. Risk Advisors and Stefan Berkey. <laughs> Safemark and, Ke and Katie McGinnis. Thank you all for sponsoring this event this evening. Personally, after a few drinks and, and dinner, I'm ready for a movie. I, I don't have a movie for you tonight, but what I have for you tonight is to share with you the HDG story. The HDG story, similar to that of other American successful entrepreneurs, centers around inspiration, perspiration, camaraderie and some good fortune. The first story takes place in 1973. The East African country that my parents lived in was nationalizing private property Additionally, in addition to nationalizing private property, they discriminated against Asians. My parents heard that America welcomed immigrants that wanted to improve their lot in life and wanted to pursue entrepreneurial endeavors. My parents landed in New York City, John F. Kennedy Airport in 1973 during the middle of the summer. They came with minimal possessions, but they came ready to invest their inspiration and their perspiration to pursue their economic endeavors. They purchased the rut, run down and dilapidated Atco Import store on Long Island, Port Jefferson in 1973. After overpaying for the store, they were hit by the first Arab oil embargo. And those of you who know history, that first embargo put our economy on its knees. The way my parents reacted to this very difficult economic situation laid the foundational principles that four decades later have propelled HDG Hotels to be North Central Florida's most successful hotel company. These were the principles. Number one, they did not compromise on customer service. Whatever it took, the customer left their store happy. In 1973, they instituted the 100% satisfaction guarantee, which was a very novel item. They found a niche market. They sold African and Asian clothing, and my mother hand sewed the shiki and tie-dye to sell to the large hippie population in the US in 1973. 
they implemented creative marketing. My mother would study the showcases of the New York clothing stores and take those best practices and display the clothing and artwork at her store and my father's store in Long I on Long Island. They built honest relationships. My dad secured terms of credit from the New York wholesalers and he obtained a line of credit from the local community bank which helped remodel their store. They brilliantly executed on the basics. They worked hard and were students of the business. Azim and I had great parents. In 1977, they took us to Disney World. We fell in love with the Central Florida climate, and my mother was especially infatuated with the hotel business. Being a student of entrepreneurship, when we got back home, she studied about hotels. This leads me to the start of my second story. Unable to afford the real estate on Long Island and the surrounding counties of New York City, my parents found opportunity in the small North Central Florida town of Ocala. My family found opportunity in Ocala. Tampa Diversified, a company out of Atlanta, Georgia, owned the Denny Econo Lodge located on US 27 and I-75, and they wanted to divest themselves at that hotel because they felt the best days of that hotel were behind, behind it. Having zero hotel experience and having minimal credit, they struck a deal with Tampa Diversified to lease the property for two years with an option to buy the property at the end of two years. Again, the same principles they applied at their store in 1973, they applied to revive this Econo Lodge on US 27 and I-75. Within seven years, with the help of local financing, we added two additional hotels and we built 25 additional hotel rooms at that Econo Lodge site. This leads me to the start of my third story this evening. March 13, 1993, the high point of the hospitality industry during the year. At exactly midnight, a tornado went through our property and within minutes destroyed 30, 30 years of hard work. Life happens. The next morning when the sun rose, the lobby was destroyed, the restaurant was destroyed, all the signage was destroyed. For the next 30 days, we filled up buckets from the pool so we could flush our toilet. Life, life happens. You can either choose to be a victim or you can positively pull yourself out. Pulling ourselves out was not easy. I was in my last year of Georgetown Law School. By the end of the year, 1993, the hotel had lost 75% of its revenues and had lost its flag. By the end of the year, <clears throat> by the end of the year, my parents were emotionally and financially depleted. It was decided that I had to come back. My first day on the job was January 7th, 1994. Again, the same principles that my parents used in 1973, coupled with a lot of sweat, blood, and tears, was used to revive this 40-year-old-plus exterior corridor property that would have been totally destroyed by a tornado. I'm proud to say that this hotel, Howard Johnson, now serves as the foundation for our company. In 2001, my brother Azim left his law practice and joined our company. Between 2001 and 2008, we finished the Howard Johnson remodel, we opened up a car wash, and we built five new hotels. 
life happens. And then 2008 happened. And the bottom crashed out. The worst US economic downturn since the Great Depression. Again, the same principles that my parents used in 1973, we used again to survive. Beginning in 2008, we made a rapid transition out of print advertising into online advertising, which, which had very minimal cost. Currently, all nine of our locations have robust online independent websites where our guests can go and read what other guests stay, uh, state about our hotel and post reviews. The partnerships even mattered more. We actively developed every local and national partnership. In 2011, the Marion County Chamber of Commerce awarded HDG Minority Business of the Year, and in 2012, we won Minority, we won Business, 2012, we won Business of the Year. Currently, our HDG team continues to actively participate in every local and national organization such as Choice Hotels International's Owners Association, which my brother Azim chairs. Our, lo <laughs> our local VCB, our local chamber, our local CEP, our partnerships matter. This philosophy of win-win partnerships of honest partnership coupled with our philosophy of making sure each one of our guests is taken care of, finding a niche market, using creative out-of-the-box marketing, relentlessly focusing on the basics of our business, working hard and taking full responsibility for our obligations, developing our people and processes, not only enabled our company to survive, but came out stronger, and currently our company is the number one hotel management and development company in Marion County. Now I come to the chapters of the story that's not been written the chapters of HDG that have yet to be written, a story that began in 1973 when my parents migrated to the U.S. to improve their lot of life. How will, these future, how will these future chapters read? First, the way these future chapters will read will depend on how true we stay with our, true to our fundamental principles of customer service, finding our niche market, creative out-of-the-box marketing, working hard and taking full responsibility for our obligations, building our people and processes. But I feel that going forward, this is not gonna be enough for HDG to continue to have the kind of success it has had in the past. For HDG to continue to have hotels that dominate in every one of its market they exist, all of us at HDG are gonna have to understand the new concepts and principles of the new world, or as Zim says, the new normal we live in. For HDG to continue, all of us at HDG are gonna have to truly understand the concepts and principles of the new world we live in. The first concept is that of sustainability. Till 2007, the real estate component of the hotel business provided ownership groups with a lot of cash. You could be an average operator, but there was a refinance option. You could always sell the real estate more than what you bought it for. But what I truly believe that from here and going forward, for most hotel groups, the real estate component is gonna be a very minimal source of capital. Consequently, at HDG Hotels, we're going to really have to understand what it's going to take for us to sustain, to maintain our hotels, and keep our hotels relevant in each one of the marketplaces that we compete in. Number two, each one of us at HDG is going to have to understand our new customer. For this new customer, generally under 45, price matters. Value matters. Their experience matters. They're not as brand loyal 
as their parents who are. And how their peers rate your hotel really matters. This new consumer under 45 is very smart, knows what their rights are, and if they pay money to stay at one of our hotel rooms, they expect to leave satisfied. At HDG Hotels, we're really gonna have to get this new consumer and how they book rooms at our hotels. Third, at HDG Hotels, merit-based decisions are gonna have to be rapidly executed and any slight sort of politics or personal biases or being territorial will be a severe drag on our company. I believe in that so much. For us to continue to be successful, any sort of politics, being territorial, personal biases that stop good decisions from being implemented will be a drag on our company. The fourth principle of this new world or this new norm that we live in is the online matters even more. By 2015, 80% of our guests are going to be booking their hotel room through their mobile device. Facebook has already joined, announced they're joining the online arena of booking hotel rooms. Google's already a major player. We're going to have to continue to be at the forefront of our online presence for all ho compared to all hotels within our market. The fifth principle that I feel that we really need to get at HDG is the principle that at 211 degrees, water is water. But at 212, water boils, it, it creates steam, and then steam propels an engine. The degree and the inches matter even more. In 2008, Michael Phelps at the Beijing Games won his competition by one hundredth of a second less than the time it takes me to blink our eye. Those of us who watch NASCAR know the difference between first and second is sometimes less than one hundredth of a second, but the difference in purse is hundreds and thousands of dollars. Twenty years ago in the NFL, you could be a successful quarterback if you threw, if you threw timely and accurate passes. But now a successful quarterback is going to do whatever it takes, be it pass, be it run, be it block, be, be on the sideline and cheer on the second string guy because he can run the ball into the end zone. At HDG Hotels, we're going to have to get that the degree counts even more and we're all going to have to be multidimensional for us to continue the kind of success we've had over the last few years. This brings me to a stopping point in the HDG story this evening. A story similar to that of many other um, successful American entrepreneur stories in that it centers around inspiration, perspiration, some good fortune, and camaraderie. Azim and I are very, very appreciative of all the companionship you have provided and through your partnership, you have inspired us to expand our perspiration. For that, Azim and I are very grateful and very humbled. On behalf of our very special HDG team, on behalf of my parents, our family, all our team members, thank you very much for attending the first annual HDG Summit and sharing this special evening with us. Thank you very much, Navros, for that wonderful message. And I can speak for all your partners that we are very excited to continue on this journey with you. At this time, I'd like to introduce the head of my department, the Choice Hotels Vice President of Franchise Services, Mr. Ralph Tiergart. Good evening. 
Navros, that is going to be an extremely tough act to follow. I think I just should pack and go right now. <laughs> I do want to, on behalf of Choice Hotels International, extend our deepest gratitude for this invitation to participate this evening in what is truly a momentous chapter in your company's history, a long history that started with a lot of commitment, hopes and dreams, that certainly have translated into the hopes and dreams of a new generation seeking to replicate the same kind of success that your folks had. So we are delighted and honored to be here and be part of that. We were talking just for a few minutes uh, before dinner began. I think you call this a celebration of partnerships. And in my mind, as I think about what we can all take away from this evening, is this concept that a celebration of partnerships really transcends all that we do. It has certainly helped your company achieve many of the goals that you've set out for yourselves to date. But a celebration of partnerships transcends, I believe, into so much of what we can accomplish throughout our lives, personal and professional. The other thing that struck me in, in listening to your comments tonight, Navros, were um, a couple of, couple of concepts around passion and perseverance. I know you talked about the ingredients uh, that have founded a lot of the company's success to date, but I don't think there's a person in this room who didn't hear the, the passion that came so through in your voice and your emotions about how you feel about what the company has achieved and what you'd like to see it achieve. And I know speaking on behalf of Choice Hotels International, one of the things that has struck us in working with HDG, with yourself, with Azeem, and, and the many of your associates and partners with whom we've had the privilege to work, is that this is an organization where passion really comes front and center in all that you do. Um, even just encountering several of your associates here at my, at my first time visiting uh, the hotel. These are people who care about what they do and, and whether they knew who I was or not, um, it's clear that there is a, it was a genuine heartfelt welcome to the area. Um, I'm riding up from Tampa Airport to, to get up here. I'm on the uh, I'm on the turnpike and my wife calls me and she says, so where are you again? And I said, I'm in Florida. And she says, so, so where are you going? And I said, well, I'm going to a dinner. We're having a celebratory dinner tonight at, uh, at, at Azeem and, and Navraz and her family's hotel up in uh, about 90 minutes north of Tampa. And she goes, so where would that be? And I go, not sure. <laughs> so, so a special thank you to Rebecca Bays because I now know that I'm not only in Hernando, but I am at the nexus of seven great rivers which send all this fresh water to the Gulf in which you can swim with manatees. So the minute I tell my daughter Erica that, we're heading right back up on a plane and coming back to these two counties to explore all the wonderful things that y'all have here. But you see, that's also part of what makes, I think, people successful is the ability to find ways to translate partnerships into passions. Because no matter who I've spoken with here this evening talking about all the things that you have here in this area, I've heard pride. I've heard inspiration about what's to be. And I've heard dreams of the future and all the, all the great things that are possible when people come together and work hard. And then I think Brett, that brings me to, I think, my final set of comments, and that's around perseverance. And, and hearing the stories of what made you want to come to America to begin with and what made you decide to, you know, buckle down and not accept defeat when that tornado came through and ripped down the hotel and you all had to get back after it, rebuild from scratch. The quality that comes through in that kind of story is one of perseverance, and perseverance at an intensely personal level. You refused as a family to let circumstances hold you back from pursuing your dreams. You refused to let a temporary defeat become a detour towards long-term future success. And my hat's off to you personally. Our company, Choice Hotels, our hat's off to you for that as well. And in what you shared at the end of your comments in terms of the partners here in this room inspiring you to perspire more, I would have to say back at you. 
because it's that kind of ethic, it's that kind of dedication, it's that kind of will to win that makes us want to perspire that much more as well to be great partners and help you achieve that dream. Because I truly believe that when you've got the right people on the team, the right partnerships in place, the right passion to fuel those dreams and the perseverance to see it through, you can't help but be successful. To your success, to a wonderful evening, and to the great partners in this room who've gathered together to celebrate it, here's to HDG. So on that note, we will end the first official HDG Hotels Partner Summit. <laughs> on behalf of HDG and Choice, I would like to thank all of you for attending. To Navros, to Azim, Mom and Dad, and to your families. It's a pleasure for me to have the ability to work with you and your teams. So I thank you personally for that. And whether we're from a hotel corporation, from a partner vendor here tonight supporting you, from the community leaders here in the room, or from those people that are working individually in your hotels, there's only one reason why we're here, and that's because of you and your family and your hard work. So we thank you, and we look very much forward to being partners in the future. Thank you all and have a great evening. <laughs>